Let your mind settle down for a bit. Just stay with the breath coming in, going out. And appreciate the fact that you've got this breath to watch. You've got this moment right here. It's the result of your past good karma, that you can train the mind, that you have the opportunity to train the mind. That's something you should learn how to appreciate. Today is Thanksgiving, and it's important to understand that when we think about who you're going to give thanks for, it's always a who. It's a person. It could be an animal who's been helpful, but anybody who made the choice to help you, that's the sort of person you have gratitude for. Now, there are opportunities and situations that you can learn from, and those are the things that you appreciate. It's important to make the distinction. Because when we have feelings of gratitude, it's something special. We recognize the fact that people have choices, and there have been people who have chosen to help us. And that's something really special. You want to appreciate that, both because it helps you to remember their goodness and to try to repay it, and also to pass it on to other people. Because if you don't appreciate the goodness of other people, the times they've gone out of their way to help you. It's very unlikely that you're going to go out of your way to help other people. So this is one of the ways we pass goodness on in the world, is through gratitude. You think especially of all the hardships your parents went through, just to make sure you'd be alive and have food on the table and learn about the world. The hardships of your teachers. In many cases you say, well, the teachers were just paid. But then they often went out of their ways to do something special for you. You want to learn how to, how to have gratitude for that. All other cases where people have had the choice where they might not have helped you, but they decided to go ahead and help you. It's good to have gratitude for that because it not only helps you appreciate what they've done and understand that it really was special, it also gives you a sense that you're special. You're worthy of somebody's help. And so you want to make yourself worthy of that help. They saw that you were worthy. Now you want to make yourself worthy. And so it's a good incentive to the practice. The monks, for example, are taught to th think every day of all the people who've contributed to the food they've had, the food they're taking, the clothes they're wearing, the lodgings they're staying in, the medicine they get to look after their diseases. This all comes from somebody's generosity. And again, it comes from somebody's choices. We have to have gratitude for that every day. Lay people should develop the same feelings of gratitude, primarily to your parents and your teachers, but then to anybody who's been helpful, who's gone out of the way to be generous with you. That's how we keep goodness alive in the world. As for appreciation, there are lots of situations where nobody made any particular choice, but you learned that it was going to be a good opportunity for learning. Sometimes an illness is something you want to learn how to appreciate. It gives you the time to be still and look at your body, look at your mind, look at your breath. Put aside all your other concerns for the time being. And John Sawad once said he had a case of malaria that he learned an awful lot from. He said if he could thank it, he would have thanked the malaria for the opportunity. So learn for the, look for the opportunities, not where anybody has made any particular choice, but there are opportunities for you to learn from. Those are things you should appreciate. And when you understand the difference between gratitude and appreciation, it helps sort things out as to what your duties are. The people for whom you feel gratitude, you want to repay them. As for the opportunities that you have to do good, the things that you learn how to appreciate, okay, you appreciate them and then you put them aside and move on. And that way you get the best out of everything and everybody around you. And then you, of course, will have more to share. <laughs>